Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and specifically the Series 1 EV build uh, playlist video, whatever you want to call it. Um, so in this video, we're going to take you through putting the axles back under the car um, and getting it built up back so she's on four wheels again, um, which is a massive achievement, which we're really happy about. So yeah, we're going to take you through that in this part of the video. Before we get on to that, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. And also, if you haven't seen where we're up to on this so far, check out the Series EV playlist. So this project has taken us a bit longer than we planned. And that's mostly due to the fact that it's a side project. Obviously, it's a personal project. It's not um, something that we're getting paid to do. So uh, it just takes a bit longer. So thanks for bearing with us. We're going to crack on now and get into this video. All right, so uh, we're whipping off the rear axle, as you can see, pretty straightforward. We just disconnected the uh, springs at the shackles and then just rolled the whole thing out. Um, this was so much easier just to get it stripped down rather than doing it bit by bit and lugging heavy bits around. So draining the oil out, as you can see, Ethan's working on getting those pesky counter sunk bolts out that hold the drums on, retain the drums. They're always knackered. Uh, and here you can see I'm grinding the, I had to cut the disc, uh, the drum off because it just wouldn't come off and I think it was quite heavily worn on the inside and there was a step and it wouldn't pass the shoes. So I did that on both sides and Ethan's there carrying on just stripping it down, shafts out. Come to pieces quite easily actually, it was just quite grubby and a lot of oil in places and stuff. So I stripped down now, just got to drop the diff out. Literally drop the diff out. And then just trying to scrape some of the old crud off of it. I'm destroying the old seal to try and get it out. The, the diff itself was in phenomenal condition actually, like it has been replaced I think at some point. So all I did was swap the oil seal and put a new flange on it and then Ethan's given it a good clean down and painted it. Axle casing is what it is. You can see it actually inside really good condition. So we've got the grinder out and a wire brush and in a flash, it's uh, all covered in buzz weld. So that was a power can of war. And then Ethan's just doing shackles and odds and sods. It weren't too heavily rusted or oily, the casing, so that was quite good. Cleaning up the back plates and swapping out the bearings and everything, and then just giving them a coat of Buzzweld RE to stop them going rusty. And meanwhile, I'm getting rid of the old bushes. These are a pain, as you know, especially if they've been in for 70 years, which these had. So I was just burning out the old rubbers so I could push them out. And then I actually got the rip saw our Milwaukee ripsaw in there and cut the remaining piece of the bush, the steel outer, and then I could push the whole thing out, which is quite effective actually. It's not a nice job doing this. It never is a nice job. So it's a mix of all the bits and bats that we took off, old studs and nuts and bolts, brake bits, all the shackles and the old springs there lined up next to the new parabolics that are going on. They were absolutely knackered, those springs were. So a bunch of other new bits, new shocks, bearings, bushes, brake pipes, hoses, everything uh, on the rear end is brand new. So here we go, going back together again now. super quick i wish it all happened this quickly it didn't it was quite a slow process but everything now going back together with new bits anything that's not new is clean painted some nice new shocks with new rubbers everything as you can see is is either new or has been cleaned painted uh, and made as close to new as possible Now I'm dropping the diff in, and I did nearly put it in upside down. 
drop that in there and then that'll allow me to get the shafts in. Just dab of Loctite on all the threads and then I can get the nuts in. Time for the half shafts now. Just gotta locate them up. Again, everything going back together as new as possible. While I'm doing the half shafts, Ethan's just connecting up the new prop shaft. So much nicer working with new parts. Everything going back together with new parts makes life so much easier, everything's clean. So I'm just starting on the brakes now. Get the master cylinders fitted and then the, the brake shoes themselves. I hate this job. They're a pain in the bum, those springs. If anybody's got any clever tips on how to get these in without losing your fingers, I'd appreciate it. Moving on to the brake pipes now. So I'm just putting the T-piece and then the flexi hose up to the chassis. We ordered a set of pre-made pipes off of eBay just to make life a load easier. Uh, so I'm just dropping these in now and then roughly shaping them up. And then I'll probably tweak them at, at a later date just to make them a bit neater. Just cut, cut down time loads by having them pre-made. Next up, new bump stops. Again, a doddle, everything's new, new nuts and bolts. Just goes together so much nicer. brake drums on as well. Whole rear end, the only thing that's got to go on is limit straps, new diff bung and everything, all the pipe work, parabolics, new shocks, all new brakes, brand new drums, literally the whole rear end is brand new. So that's the rear axle done, back together, it's on its wheels and it's on a little trolley as well at the minute so we can shift around a bit easier. And uh, yeah, now we can crack on with the front one. <laughs> yeah, so the front end was really bad. Check out these springs. So that should have been one spring. Uh, and now it's just three washers. So that explains why we've got that massive mad movement there. Uh, obviously these are, the axles are gonna get fully rebuilt anyway. Um, so that's not the end of the world, but it does explain why it was so knackered. Uh, you can get a conversion as well to, to get rid of these springs and then they, they come with a solid pin like the Series 2s uh, or 2As or whatever it is. So we'll probably end up doing that. Um, but that just explains why we have that massive amount of movement. I do reckon this might be knackered. <laughs> Strip down on the front, basically the same as the rear. The bushes, as you can see, are knackered. The springs were knackered. The swivel joints were knackered. The UJs in the half shafts were knackered. So same story as before, just rolled it out complete. 
with the springs and everything and then it meant we could take the springs off out here where we've got a bit more access and then we wheeled the whole lot round to the back of the car to fully strip her down. And there we go with the wheels off and it's the same process, start stripping down this uh, this mess and getting rid of all the nasty old parts of which there were lots. Pretty much everything was knackered, even to the point where I couldn't get the diff bung out because the diff casing shroud around the plug was knackered. You can see those countersunk screws in the drums, which are always knackered, were knackered. These swivels were knackered. Literally almost everything went in the bin. The only thing that actually was good again was the diff. So I think at some point they've been swapped out, although it was grubby. Half shafts were knackered, we swapped those. Swivels were all knackered, we swapped those. The stubs, all the brake stuff. It's all just absolutely knackered wheel bearings. You can see the brake cylinders. It's all really, really rough. Just had no, no love. The only thing that was any good was the diff itself. Usual process, get everything cleaned, all the grease off of it, start painting it with Buzzweld. And you can see there, no more slime on the inside, no more crud. Everything's clean, ready to be painted, like so. While Ethan's doing that, Kim and I got to get in those parabolics fitted with all new bolts, new bushes again. Putting the steering arm in as well, we nearly forgot that. Top tip, don't forget that. So there's the bare axle casing going in. New U-bolts, new seals for the swivels and the little retainer. All going together nice and it's so much easier when everything's clean and new. The whole front axle again will be brand new apart from the diff. So I'm just dropping that in now. They don't get any lighter. Just putting new UJs into the half shafts and then a complete new end on both of them. So only the inner part of the half shafts were the originals. Just slide those in, new seals on the end, new swivels as well. Then we're just putting in new swivel bearings, bolting that all up, and the new pins in the top with the, the conversion pin, so they're a solid pin now, no springs. All right, on with getting the series front axle reassembled. Um, I've been having a bit of a nightmare with this, uh, just waiting on parts and stuff, and then the wrong parts um, come in, stuff like the stub axles were wrong and stupid things like that. Um, that just slowed me down and then it got put off and put off and we've got other projects on as well so um, prioritizing one of our own things um, sort of got pushed to the back but all the bits are here as far as I know they better be and uh, we can get cracking get this front axle back together and then she'll be on all fours again um, and we're edg edging closer to getting it done so that's the job for now just bolting up that front prop shaft which is new as well So she's basically brand new on the front end as well. New brake pipe, oh no, brake hose, sorry. So yeah, so I got both ends bolted up, which was nice. 
eventually got all the right stubs and now I'm on with putting the steering uh, back together. You can even see there on the left hand side that we've got freewheeling hubs fitted, new drums, new brakes entirely, new steering joints on everything. The track rod is brand new. So front axles in now, pretty much there. I just might need to tighten up a few nuts and bolts here and there, but she's all in. Put down on the trolleys as well, and now we can drag the whole thing around. Uh, so yeah, really happy with that. All right, guys. So that is the end of this video. The series is back on all fours. It won't be very long until we've got it driving on all fours as well, and I'm fairly confident that that's going to be pretty soon. We've been going through a lot of stuff uh, and figuring it out. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, you know all the jazz, the like button and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and check us out in the next one.